Hello! On today's video, we are doing a tour of our home-built off-road style camper. Welcome to the Crow's Wing Teardrop Camping Trailer by Flight of the Crow's Wing. When we couldn't find a trailer to suit our needs, we decided to build our own. We spent a year planning and designing and in 2012 finished this trailer. It is a Benaroy style teardrop. The body is 5 feet tall by 5 feet wide and 10 feet long. The overall length of the trailer, including the tongue, is 15 and a half feet. Loaded for camping, it weighs 3,500 pounds. The tongue weight is 400 pounds. Camping gear includes 40 gallons of water, easy up, and camp chairs. And a full pantry and nine bottles of wine. Okay, what we're using to tow with is a max coupler hitch. Uh, it's got a full rotation in that direction. And we put the trailer on it. It's got full rotation that direction. It also has a side to side this way and that way so we can jackknife the trailer as needed. Uh, it's worked very very well. Um, we've used it for 30,000 miles. Okay. This netting under here is a stone guard. Uh, it connects to underneath the bumper of the truck with these little latches and it keeps any gravel that uh, gets kicked up by the rear tires off the trailer. The wheels are of the gray Baja Tacoma wheels. Uh, they match our Tacoma and the tires are the 255-85-16 Cooper Discover ST Max. Uh, they are the exact same tires we keep on the truck. So these go in rotation with the truck tires, hopefully to make them last a lot longer. It's got a 3,500 pound axle. And I installed some Rancho Springs or shocks to it uh, to smooth out the ride down rough roads. They work very well. As you can see, the trailer frame is the lowest part besides the axle of the trailer, so there's nothing to get hung up on any rocks. This is our pre-tongue box. Uh, it's actually the first aluminum project that I did. Um, build it to fit the size of the tongue. It stores our wheel chocks, tiki torches, um, and other flammable... Our toilet, our, our toilet bucket. Empty. When it's empty. <laughs> uh, our toilet bucket, when it's empty, goes in here. Um, anything dirty, anything oily. Anything dirty, oily, or flammable goes in the front. Goes in here. This is the tongue box that we had built with the trailer frame when we had it made um, to our specifications. And it houses up here. It's got the uh, IntelliPower Progressive Dynamics charger. It's got a Victron solar charger, uh, a BMV 712 battery monitor. I have 50 foot of solar cable that I can set two extra solar panels out with. I've got a 25 foot water hose, uh, a bag of tools and parts specifically for the trailer. For repairs. For any repairs we might need. We have a water hose and a 12 volt sump pump that we use to fill the trailer water tank from a bucket of water or if we can't get close to a spigot. I also carry two electric extension cords. <laughs> Our solar panels plug in through uh, what these things are called. Uh, water, water tight they're, fittings. They're watertight fittings that the, the wires go through. Here is our charge port for our uh, 120 volt power source that we are on shore power. Uh, we haven't needed shore power in a long time. Uh, up on the roof we have mounted these global solar uh, panels. They're both uh, 100 watt panels 
and they've been keeping the batteries charged um, by themselves. Passenger side of the tongue box is our battery storage. We have 200 amp hour battle worn lithium ion batteries and all the wiring and essentials that go with that setup. Here's a breaker switch so I can shut it all off. It's been a trouble free system. Alright, driver side tongue box is general storage. Um, we have a broom and dustpan, toilet papers, uh, cleaning supplies, the little green one pound propane bottles when we need to cook inside the Easy Up. Games. Uh, we have a box that's got games in it. Uh, we've got trash bags, uh, shaving supplies so I can get my hair cut out in the desert. Designed our teardrop to have basement storage because every teardrop is short on storage. So our basement is 12 inches tall and we keep shoes, chairs, a green elephant. Um, on this side we keep uh, our easy up frame, it slides in the front. And, and these tubes hold our side awning poles. We found that when it rains the poles get water in them and if not stored in the tubes our basement compartment becomes damp. We have uh, grab handles to help get in and out, which is good for us old people. And the fenders are actually strong enough that you can stand on them without worrying about breaking anything other than your neck if you fall. Below the bed, we have a water tank and that water tank sits right over top of the axle um, between the fender wells. It's a 40 gallon water tank. Um, it is accessed through this spray away hose. So you connect the spray away hose and. It's 15 foot long. Yeah, 12. I think it's 12. Um, but we have a Pelican case that holds a Triton water heater. So this cord, hose, and the water connects to here, and the propane connects to here. So, turn the propane on. Stored in a tote. Green is for guys. Blue is for boobies. <laughs> so this is the lady side of the trailer. <laughs> getting your arm stuck in there. I know.
pockets on the inside and a pocket on the corner there. Pocket on the corner there. Holes in the corners of the awning. here these are bimini we recently replaced the bimini pins and they're a little bit bigger than the original ones so sometimes they fight us this awning design is very strong even in high winds we've had them up as high as 25 mile an hour gust and have not had any problem with them Awning also has pockets in the top that you can unzip. You go all the way around. And undo the little Velcro attachments. changing room. Cozy. Very cozy. And it nice. ties it ties down in multiple places. In multiple places. So when the wind's blowing and you can stake out the corners. Yeah. So it doesn't go everywhere. cubic square feet <laughs> yeah anyways uh, lots of room for things in there uh, we keep our colder clothes um, baby wipes uh, computer equipment that we use in here mostly for watching movies and uh, we each have a, a large bag in there but uh, still plenty of room to put even more up there if we wanted to um, we each have a little cupboard I'll show you this one over here and they're both the same size 
We keep our clothes in here and we do use the uh, Eagle Creek brand um, cubes to put our clothes in and that's worked out very well, keeping them all organized and relatively wrinkle free. Um, we have in the center a, uh, storage bags and in this we have our bear spray that we keep in the cabin all the time. Um, we have an indoor outdoor thermometer so we know what the temperature is. Um, and this actually converts down into a table so we can pull that out and we actually have a little table there. It's where our TV used to be and what's nice about it is it's on the same mount as our TV was so we can actually pull this out so when we're having movie night we can have our computer there and we can watch movies on it and uh, that makes it very nice. So we also cook on this when it's windy which has happened quite a few times in the last few months for whatever reason. Um, there's not a wind-free place on the outside. So, we have light wise, we have a cabin light. This does shine in white and in red. Red's supposed to keep from attracting bugs, but I think it just makes it harder to see the bugs because it doesn't seem like it works that great. Um, we have reading lights for both of us. We have ambient lights. Ambient lights are both in white and red, so just a little bit of light. Uh, a little more light or a lot of light, so plenty of funny lights. Um, for shades, we actually have these pull down shades. Um, these were actually bought from a website, I don't remember what it is right offhand, but it was for houses and they work perfectly well in here. Um, the block out the sun, the moon, uh, the neighbors, if we happen to be somewhere where there's other people camping, which isn't very often, but it does happen. We each have a shelf with plenty of room on it to store Kindles and glasses and various whatnot, keys and flashlights and all the stuff you might need. Um, we have a headboard. And the headboard's nice and squishy so we can sit in here comfortably and watch movies and, and uh, read if we want to. Um, we have 12 volt chargers up here. We have 12 volt uh, chargers down there. And we also have some behind the TV. So we've got lots of places to plug stuff in. Uh, the ones under the cabin we usually use for uh, electric blankets for extra heat because that's the only heat besides our body heat that we have in here when it's cold. Um, I am five foot ten, and as you can see, it's perfectly comfortable sitting in here. Uh, there's plenty of room overhead, and the bed itself is a queen size. It's just shy of 60 inches wide. It's actually 59 inches wide, and it's six and a half feet long. So I got plenty of room. Uh, the full cabin itself is seven foot. You can see three foot for the for the galley, seven foot for this section, and um, it's six inches is taken up on the headboard, but it's worth it. So, um, we also have, did I tell you about the fan? Okay. We also have a Maxer fan, which is really nice because it already has a rain shield on it, um, and it can be opened and closed as needed. Uh, the fan has many speeds. I think it's 12 different speeds and it can be made to blow in or blow out But uh, it's relatively quiet uh, Actually pretty good at turning these on and off with my toes in the middle of the night if I need to adjust them, but uh, I won't show you that and That's it for the inside of the cabin. Oh um, the uh, underneath the cabin here is our access panels. We have a electrical access panel where we can get to uh, all the electrical hookups and the fuses and we also have another panel that's right below the, the uh, mattress where we can get into our water. Now underneath the mattress if we fold the mattress up there is a very large hatch that we can get to the water tank so we can reach the entire water tank and the water pump just by moving the mattress. 
but um, it's a little labor intensive to move the patchers, but uh, we've done it before in just a couple of minutes when we thought there was a leak. And we do have a sensor that will go off if there's any moisture in there. So, so that can work really well. And uh, we've only had a couple of false alarms in the East Coast where the, the tank is sweated enough that it became damp in there and that caused the alarm to go off. But even then it let us know that we need to do something and get it dried out. So, all right. So it's a typical teardrop. It does have a kitchen in the back. We do like to cook, we do like to eat. So we have as full of a kitchen as we can put in a small space. So in here we have pretty much everything you would need except for the kitchen sink. We have a refrigerator which is a more cold refrigerator. It is 2.7 cubic feet, which is small, but we actually find that we can get almost two weeks worth of food in it. Um, we do use the cooler to put fruits and onions and peppers and things that don't need to be necessarily refrigerated just at an even temperature. Um, the kitchen itself, uh, we have as much storage in it too as we can get. Um, overhead, we have our oven mitts, we have bear spray, and we have a fire extinguisher which is attached down. But, um, we keep a water filter in case we need to filter water for drinking water in here. We also carry two game cameras with, it, with us that we can set up and not get any pictures because we never ever get pictures of anything cool with it. Uh, the center one is for bulk storage. Uh, we have some extra lights in there, there's some storage containers, a hand mixer, um, things we don't use very often, but they are in there. And on this side is storage for our other lights that we use all the time, the Lucy lights, Lucy lights. And then next to it, we have a charging station, which is cool because we can charge our phones and whatever else and when we're camping with other people there's plenty of places to plug stuff in so um, on the main cupboards we have our canned and dry food storage there and it's pretty big um, in the middle we have our drink section uh, wine glasses coffee mugs coffee, teas, lemonade, that kind of thing. Um, and behind it, we have our wine storage. So we can have nine bottles of wine or eight bottles of wine and some rum. We usually use it to store our uh, Bluetooth speaker. Um, we have decorations of our family and friends and all the people that we miss when we're traveling. In this cupboard is my baking, cooking spice rack. So uh, basically spices, uh, herbs and spices, uh, oils. Um, I use ghee when we're frying stuff sometimes just because I can keep ghee in the cupboard and it doesn't burn as much. It's uh, got a very high burn rate. Uh, flour, sugar, salt, pepper, honey, um, hand sanitizer, all that fits up in here, toothbrushes, and various medications that we might need. Um, so that's, that's what that is. And uh, we're traveling, this box here goes up in there, but uh, it's basically just a whatnot box, uh, scissors and charging cords and things that you just don't want out all the time. On the back of our backsplash, we have a light. A switch which operates the overhead light uh, that can be white or it can be red. Uh, we have two 12 volt outlets. We have a uh, water gauge so it tells us how much water we have. Um, it's a 40 gallon tank so right now we're down to about 20. Uh, that's after three showers, uh, two of which I wash my hair in so that's actually not too bad. And then we have a water pump switch, so that turns the water pump on and off. Now the water pump will come on automatically when you use it, but we like to have it shut off when we're not 
and use of it just so if there's any problems it won't pump water out. We have uh, bottle openers. Uh, we have a rolling pin stashed up there um, down below for cupboards. We have our bread cover and snack cupboard. So we can actually put almost two weeks worth of bread and snacks in there. Uh, this is our silverware and other stuff. Um, linen foil, plastic wrap, uh, silverware, um, Ziploc bags, uh, salt pepper, those kind of things. So, uh, and uh, this drawer has Pots, pans, we have the magna pans, a full set. You probably don't need to have a full set with this, but we do sometimes use three or four pans at a time if we're making something really complicated. Uh, plates, um, my grandmother, Saul's Giver's uh, cast iron skillet that my dad gave to me, so we use it a lot. Uh, the makings for coffee, we have a French press in here. Um, utensils, a uh, little extra rum, cutting boards, another strainer, that's nice, it pops up, a uh, little pan that fits in our stove, and I'll show you that here in a minute. So this whole height of this counter was determined by the size of this, and this is a Camp Chef uh, stove oven combo. We do a lot of baking. We bake pies, we bake pizza, bread, whatever else we might want, uh, chickens, whatever. Uh, so it is very nice to have a, a oven and it works pretty well. Um, it's a little hard to regulate so you got to watch stuff really closely but uh, you kind of get used to, to how long it takes for things to cook. Um, we have two burners. I can have both burners and the oven going at the same time. No problems at all. Uh, our propane for this is in the propane locker on this side. And we have a 10 pound propane tank in there, an aluminum one. And basically all we need to do is to attach it like that and we're good to go. Um, we also have storage for a griddle on the back here that just slides in there. And we have a cutting board that we can actually take the whole way out if we need to, and it's pretty large. Or for making sandwiches, we'll just use it out just a little bit. So, it has a gate latch that keeps it from sliding all the way out. So that's our kitchen. When we're camped for more than a few days, we extend our living space with a first up gazebo and sidewalls. An aluminum Camp Chef camp table is used for kitchen prep work. For warmth in cooler weather, we use a buddy heater. The fan helps distribute heat. The sidewalls are kept rolled up with bungee cords and can be deployed in seconds. We use a smaller rolled up aluminum table for dinner and games. Elizabeth has written a book about our build. It is available at blurb.com. Thank you for joining us. Stay safe, and remember, if you dream big, you can build small. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe, and share with your friends.